people, welcome to another edition of that finger tapping frenzy that we all know and love as WWE Supercard with me, Big Jim, and Ninja Boy here at Badland Dad HQ. Now, this evening, I've got my first Elemental Pro. Probably not going to be a big surprise uh, to a lot of you because I'm pretty sure that for some of you out there, this is going to be your first Elemental Pro too. I'll come on to that shortly. Uh, just before I do progress and proceed and get on with things and stop prevaricating, just to say, have you caught Ninja Boy's latest Rocket League video? Because in that, uh, he's inviting you to send him uh, your training packs uh, via the page or via Twitter, and he will play those in one of his upcoming videos, which means you'll get the biggest shout-out you could possibly wish for in a Rocket League video. So if you haven't seen it, go and check out where that is, somewhere down below or on your phone, or your iPad, or whatever else it is that you're looking at. But for now, let's get back onto Supercard, or Super Crud, as we're uh, calling it these days. He says, knocking his glasses all over the place. What I would say is a lot of criticism. A lot of criticism at the moment for these stats. And I think this is kind of uh, going to go some way to proving just how poor the stats are. But there he is. It's our calm friend, the Berserker. Uh, who was, of course, in the team uh, Ring Dummy Dim Dom, who is my first pro. As you can see, I've got him ready. Um, so I'm going to combine him, power him up, and do something I wouldn't normally do, which is just pay to get the uh, matches played. So we can then just compare where he sits, where he stands in the great squad of the BLD Army, um, which I don't think is going to be that high. I mean, look at that for a start. For a start... Just pro deal, I mean, he's on zero, I know, but let's just have a look how those stats compared as a zero card. Two fives and two fours. I mean, that's a, an unhalf heroic Rey Mysterio, as you can see. Uh, I don't need me to tell you how I did in Raw oh, 2 Glory. Uh, but anyway, look, let's power him up, improve, train. I've got quite a few female pros that I can ditch now. Um, I was uh, working and saving on quite a few of them for the Women's Giants Unleashed. But that's now that's now not so necessary um, because I've got them as just about high up as I can get them. Uh, and I've got a decent set of pros. So we can just get rid of a couple of these. Alexa Blisses. Oh, it's a shame when you get rid of an event card, but you can't keep hold of them forever, can you? I'm going to give you a catalogue of ten. Um... All right, we need a bit more, don't we? Need a bit more juice in there to feed up our berserker friend. Uh, that's probably all I want to put in from uh, the girls for the time being. Let's just do a general sweep. Get all these in. Let's see where we stand after this. 96, something's going to have to give. Something's going to have to give. What I may have to do is just combine... Uh, some of these WrestleMania cards have been sitting on. There's no point really. These WrestleMania cards that I can pro now, like Pete Dunne is an example. I've only got two. I'm keeping hold of Kofi. I've actually got four Kofi Kingstons. I just haven't got round to uh, uh, powering him up and uh, leveling him up. So uh, yeah, let's just do the Pete Dunne. Let's combine Pete Dunne. Oh no, eight. <whistles> let's combine him first. Got to fill in the catalogue. Got to fill in these catalogue numbers, so I'm going to have to stickler for these catalogue numbers. Um, oh dear, nearly a disaster there. Nearly lost my Pete Dunn potential pro. Look, you can see the pros I still have to do. I could probably actually do Damien Priest as well, to be quite honest. I don't think any of these are going to make... Uh, Kofi might make my Road to Glory deck, because uh, there's four of him. But, um, but beyond that, I think Rey Mysterio and Pete Dunn uh just about done and dusted. Uh, let's do Ray as well. Just for the just for the hell of it. Get him out of the way. And let's go back to uh, general Finish doing Berserker. Uh, went quicker off stand where I was, wouldn't I? Ah uh, you pudding. What have I got? I've got this on tradable now, uh, combinable, haven't I? I'll get there, I'll get there, just bear with me. Talk amongst yourselves for a bit. Entertain yourself. 
After all, you put this video on so you can entertain yourself, didn't you? Um, uh, there he is. And actually, we'll just do the one for the time being. Let's see how that does us. And, oh, this is painful. It's like watching paint dry. Come on, let's get there. Let's do this. This, of course, is um, is the problem we've got now uh, with these new cards. Is they take a flipping age, flipping age. Where am I going with this? Flipping age to um, power up everything. What have I done here? What doofus move have I made here so that I'm going the wrong way? Right. Uh, there's Ray. Let's stick him in. We might need to stick Big Kevin as well. I'm gonna have to stick Big Kevin. Oh God. Might even have to put Stinger in. Oh, let's go for it. Done, 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 done. 105. Right, finally. Then, let's put him into our performance center. I normally just have uh, one card working in the performance center and uh, obviously using the free slot and just let it get on with it. But for the purposes, for the purposes of this experiment and this video, uh, we will just do that. Now, let's go back into main cards and let's see where he sits in the grander scheme of things. General Ele WM36. Let's have a look. So, well, he's better than the uh, standard pro taker, Adam Cole, etc., 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 Edgy Boy, and the others. He's not as good as a double pro or F2. Christian, F3, and certain a half heroic um, big show. So if you're in a King of the Ring and you're up against uh, people who've got a half heroic cards, you're not going to win. You're not going to win. Now, I know Big Show's got uh, an equipment card on him, just the one equipment card, not the 17 or whatever it is that some people are putting on their um, on their cards. Uh, so he's on two sevens and two eights, whereas. Uh, our busy mate right here is on two sixes. Uh, what's his stats? Two six three, two six six, two six seven, two six eight. Power speed. Let's just add in, uh, just for the sake of fairness, let's just add in what I've got in equipment cards. How are you doing with equipment cards? I'm picking up an awful lot of Vanguard equipment cards, but I'm not picking up um, many WrestleManias. In fact, I have just the three, one of which we got uh, from an event anyway. Uh, just two which have been pulls. And as you can see, most of my remaining uh, cards are Vanguard. Let's just stick him in. For, it doesn't really matter what I put in there, to be quite honest. So where's that shelf then? Well, it's, it's, edged, it's edged him past Christian. See that? <laughs> um, edged him past Christian, but that's about it. It's still not good, is it? Not when you've got a pro. If you've got a pro from a new tier, you would expect it to be better than uh, cards from the tiers below. Now, Supercard have come out with a very strange and interesting... Uh, it's kind of a mini-statement on their Twitter account um, in the past 12 hours or so. It's basically trying to explain their thought process behind what they've done, which is uh, they didn't want to have uh, stats going into the billions in a short space of time. So they, uh, they've started off with low figures for elemental cards, but things are going to increase as the tier goes along. There are ways and means by which things are going to increase as the tier goes along. Now, I have a horrible feeling that those ways and means involve spending money. <laughs> I can't see how there's going to be any other way around it. Um, I'm guessing, of course, that um, equipment cards will come in for the elemental tier and they will no doubt give uh, bigger boosts. But then, of course, if you're sticking an elemental uh, tier equipment card onto a WrestleMania uh, card that's already a heroic pro or a half heroic pro, then obviously you're, you're going to counterbalance that. Um, so I'm not quite sure what they're going to do specifically. Uh, and also, it does make you wonder... 
We've never kind of been through this before. We, yes, we've had cars that are slightly more uh, powerful, and obviously fortifying uh, gives you the chance to make things a lot more powerful. I mean, bearing in mind my big show is just a pro big show. It's not one of these where someone's had three big show cards. I don't know how those people got away with it. Um, sit there with three big show cards and then criticise everyone else for what they're doing. I quite understand that. Anyway, um, if we go through our previous tiers, uh, it's been pretty much a level playing field as far as the cards are concerned. I haven't needed to do like massive tweaks. Um, the advent of equipment cards and fortifying has made a big difference to the game. Certainly adding the women's um, Giants Unlimited deck in uh, did make things uh, a bit tougher for when you wanted to burn cards off and feed cards into uh, things because the females, you could tend to limit your female deck to uh, your four best cards. Um, but now, of course, you want to have your four best cards for each of the four stats um, and keep a hold of some of the pros that uh, perhaps aren't in those decks because you might get another card that could come in and fortify those and push them into your top four. Now, I know some people are saying we well, don't need a full deck of top tier cards for Women's Giants Unleashed, but obviously the higher points you've got on your cards, the more points you get when you're beating the Giant and the more chance you've got of getting to your target that little bit quicker. Um, so yeah, so where does that leave us? I, t I tell you, this aspect, this stats aspect is already not sitting comfortably right now. I'm not sitting comfortably and I already have begun. Um, but secondly, this glitch that I've sort of referred to already where people are um, adding several, I'm not even sure whether it's the equipment cards or power-up cards, um, boost cards I've, I've, I've seen conflicting tweets on the subject I'm not actually seeing what you do or how you do it and I've, I've had no interest in trying to track down what it is actually people are doing all i know is you're coming across people in king of the ring and they've got ridiculously ramped up stats and the problem's actually getting worse i've seen more and more and more occasions of it um and if more people are going to be doing it you're getting to the point where well what's the point of playing the game to be quite honest. Um, because if you're trying to play the game in a straightforward fashion and not using uh, a glitch that is going to radically uh, improve your stats beyond any sort of method they were, they were meant to be improved, then you're kind of uh, on the losing side, aren't you? Um, now I'm not advocating that you should go out there and learn how to do whatever this thing is just to keep pace with the others. I'm, I'm more suggesting that certainly people like me are just gonna to get to the point where we think, how am I gonna win this? This, this, this point is carrying on. Um, which would be a shame, bearing in mind all the years we've spent playing the game and all the effort we've put into playing the game and all the fun we've had playing the game. If you haven't caught our 750th episode of everything we've ever done, uh, which came out a few videos ago. Um, have a look back on that because there's some great memories in there. Um, but I'm just feeling a bit, feeling a bit jaded, feeling jaded by the game at the moment. Um, so I'm going to be interested to see how quickly they can sort this glitch out and actually get it cuffed properly, so that it's not just remnants of it there, and you can still do certain things, but actually cuff it from the game. And where we're going with these stats on the cards. Because um, again, you don't want, how are they going to do this? So just, is this going to be a gradual introduction? You don't want to be busting a gut to get a heroic version of something in an event one weekend. And then the following weekend, they've got a new card that comes out that then four stats it. That would just be soul destroying. <laughs> um, not to mention, a bit annoying. So I'd be interested, I wish they'd give us a few more details or a bit more understanding of what's going to happen uh, for that in future. Anyway, King of the Ring, I've uh, had absolutely no joy trying to get myself a win in King of the Ring on the elemental side. Now I've got my first uh, pro, I'm not so sure that's even going to help, uh, having seen his stats. Um, I've managed to get to... Uh, Two semi-finals is the closest I've got. 
Um, but I'm still training them. You still get WrestleMania. If you can get into the last um, four, you're still getting WrestleMania cards. So, you know, that might help you with some 45 and what have you. I think you can tell I'm feeling a bit down here. Just feeling a bit down about the game in general. I should be celebrating. Should be celebrating the fact that I've got my first pro. First elemental pro. There he is, Berserker. Happy days, looks like me when I wake up in the morning. Um, so, yes, recap. First pro. Not that happy. Stats are rubbish. Uh, sort the glitch out. Made no moves to sort the glitch out. Need to sort the glitch out. And catch Ninja Boy's Rocket League video because it is your chance to get your practice arena featured. Isn't that right, Ninja Boy? Yeah. And uh, not so much of a, an exclusive. Well, I suppose it is an exclusive because we're the only people who know. <laughs> uh, we're going to try and do some FIFA uh, videos, um, get something done this weekend because a few of you, having seen our 750th episode, I've said, oh, why don't you play some of those old games you used to play? A few of you have said, uh, get Ninja Boy playing Supercard again. Well, when he stopped, he was on Neon. So he's got a bit of catching up to do, uh, which would be tough enough as it is, apart from the fact he doesn't want to play the game. <laughs> so there's those aspects which are kind of against it happening, albeit, shh, albeit we have had few discussions about maybe some way we could just resurrect a little Mano Ninja Boyo type thing. Do you remember those? Mano V Ninja Boyo on Supercard? We just had a little chat about ways of maybe reintroducing that. How about you let us know down below? You veterans of Bad Lad Dad Watery. You veterans of the televisual treat that is Bad Lad Dad. Uh, if you remember Mano Ninja Boyo, if you want us to do some Mano Ninja Boyos, just give us a bit of incentive. Let us know in the comments down below if you want to see us uh, reenact some of those. Well, not reenact, do some new ones, obviously. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's a wrap up for today. Uh, not sure when I'll be back. It'll be sometime this week. Um, there'll definitely be videos this weekend. Uh, if it's not Rocket League, there'll be some FIFA. So, the only way you're going to find out when these things are coming out is follow us on social media. You know, the social media. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. More importantly than that, if you like this video, bung a few likes down below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit that bell notification. Do all the other chisel that everyone else tells you to do because I can never remember what it all is. And until we see you next time, you stay a cool. People say to me all the time, hey Johnny Wrestling, what does it take to become a winner? Those people, I say, try watching Bad Lad Dad's latest video. He'll show you just what it takes to become a WWE Supercard Champion.